The uh, trigger I'm going to install now is the Rock River two-stage national match trigger. It uh, has about a four to four and a half pound trigger pull. It is a two-stage trigger and it uses conventional wound trigger and hammer springs as the, uh, the uh, mill spec or uh, standard trigger would that uh, came out of the rifle. First thing I'm going to do is insert the uh, trigger into the lower receiver. I've got the lower receiver again on the vice box so that it's uh, held in position. I want to take the tension off of this uh, trigger so that I'm not wearing my pinholes out by shoving that in. Check that tension to make sure I've got upward pressure on the front of the uh, trigger. The next thing I'll do is align the hammer springs and get them on the trigger pin. The hammer springs are actually what hold the hammer or the uh, trigger pin in place. In some of these triggers it's easier to load the trigger and keep it in position than it is to align everything and drive that pin in. Just a couple of taps with a brass punch. And we've got the trigger in place. We'll test it to make sure that it's got free travel and it's loaded properly. And then we'll lock it in position. Next thing I'm going to do is depress the safety or selector lever plunger with this brass punch. I'll push it down and insert the safety or selector lever into the gun and push it into play. Now I'll make sure it doesn't come back out. The detent is in the proper location. The safety is functional and yet releases the trigger when it's put in the off position. Notice I'm guarding the hammer just to make sure that the hammer doesn't fall on damage of the receiver in case that safety were to fail. Rifle's ready to reassemble and test.